In this video, we're going to talk about the put call ratio. We're going to discuss how to calculate it and what it represents. So let's calculate the put call ratio for each stock shown below in the table. So starting with stock ABC, the put call ratio is going to be equal to the volume of the put options divided by the volume of the call options. So for ABC, we have a put volume of 4,200 and the call volume is 6,000. If we divide those two numbers, we'll get a put call ratio of 0.7. Now let's do the same thing for the next stock, stock XYZ. So the put volume is 1350 and the call volume is 6150. So it's 0.22 for stock XYZ. Next for JFK, we have a put volume of 9125 and a call volume of 3375. So this is 2.7. So now that we have the put call ratio for each individual stock, what does it tell us? Describe the overall market sentiment for each individual stock. When the put call ratio is high, this tells you that stock traders are bearish on the market. Now, why can we say that? Well, we need to understand what a put and a call option is. A put option gives the owner the right to sell a stock at a predetermined price. A call option gives the owner the right to buy a stock at a certain price. Now, whenever the stock price go up, the value of the call options go up. If stocks are going down in value, the value of put options go up. So investors and stock traders, they're going to be buying put options if they believe that the stock market is going down, if they believe that a bearish market is ahead of them. And so that's what we see in the case of JFK. People are buying put options, a lot more put options than call options. So that indicates that they believe that the price of the stock is going down. So thus a very high put call ratio indicates that the market is bearish overall. Now, what about a very low put call ratio? What does that tell you? When a put call ratio is very low, this indicates that the market is bullish. So if we look at the table for stock XYZ, we can see that stock traders are buying a lot more calls than put options. And the only reason why they would do this is if they believe that the price of the stock is going up. And so they're bullish on that stock. So that's what a low put call ratio tells you. It tells you that traders are buying more calls than puts, and they believe that the price of the stock is going to go up. Now looking at the last one, stock ABC, this value is 0.7. Now, even though there's more calls than puts that are being purchased here, this really indicates a neutral condition. Because for the most part, the stock market is usually going up and not down. A put call ratio of one means that the number of puts and calls are the same. But generally speaking, the stock market tends to move in the upward direction. So a number of 0.7 is considered to be standard for the put call ratio. So this number indicates that the market is going up slightly. So it's a neutral indicator. It's a neutral value, so to speak. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the put call ratio and you also know what it represents. So when the put call ratio is very, very high, significantly greater than one, it indicates that the market for that individual stock is bearish. And when the put call ratio is very, very low, significantly less than 0.5, then it tells you that stock traders are bullish on that particular or that individual stock. 
So that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.